Hey guys, South Carolina Mike here. Uh, just wanted to do a quick <clears throat> EDC, what I carry. Um, seen a lot of reviews on YouTube and just wanted to do my own. This is my first video, so any comments would be helpful. I always appreciate feedback, um, but please do realize this is my first video. So right off the bat, I'm gonna start with my watch. This is a Luminox. Um, it is like the, I think it's a 3157 series, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it has the Trijicon glass impregnated glow, in, glow at night, uh, glow in the dark, which is cool. And um, I dig it. It's lightweight, Velcro strap. It's cool. I beat this thing to death. I don't know if you can see all the marks on it and stuff, but I have absolutely... There's a little itty bitty scratch on the lens, but I'm not really worried about that because as much damage and stuff I put this through, it has taken everything. Um, I dig it. I like it. It's probably my favorite watch by far. They are a little expensive, but you can find them. I got this for $157. I think they sell for $284 right now, but uh, I did get this for $157. I do remember that. Um, next, this is a... Uh, my SOG Flash 2, um, I like it because it's spring assisted and it's easy to one open. I can do that a lot faster. Um, I do also like it because it um, has this little lock right here. Uh, a lot of guys don't like this, or I guess some guys don't like this. I've actually seen a guy like open this up so it's in the unlock position so you can flick it out. And he actually put um, hot glue. Yeah, he took like a hot glue gun and actually filled that cavity up. Um, I like the safety. Um, I like the clip. When it's in my pocket, you barely see it. I think you see like that much of it sticking out of my pocket. It's a, I, I like it. Anyway, on the flashlights. Normally what I do, this is a Streamlight Stylus Pro. Lots of people have them. I like it. It's AAA. It seems to run for a good amount of time before I change the batteries out. Um, my only complaint with this light is, and nobody else, at least I didn't see it when I was looking at getting this light, um, nobody else commented the fact this, yeah, you can push it on, okay? But if you wanna keep it continuously on, you gotta put, I mean, you can't tell from the video, but you gotta put an extreme amount of pressure to click that puppy on. And, um, but it gives off great light. It works great. It's slim and it clips in the pocket really easy. If I know that I'm going to be, well, actually, no, I, I carry this pretty much everywhere. This is a night ice holster. Um, I think I got it at Lowe's for like eight bucks. Um, it's pretty cool. It's hard. It protects it. And this is a Surefire, uh, 6P LED. It takes two CR123s. And it has um, the auto on feature, which you twist the butt cap to keep it on. Or you can line up, it has these little notches where you line it up. I don't know if you can, there you go, see. You line up those notches, and when you line up those notches, you can just press the back of the button, which I think is really convenient if you were carrying um, in a situation where you needed a light. You don't wanna just be blazing off your location everywhere. So if you need a momentary burst of light to see where you are, see if there's anything in front of you, you click it on, you're good to go. Um, enough said. Uh, battery life, I don't know. I've got the original set of batteries in here and haven't had to change them out. I bought a couple spares when I got the light and I use it pretty frequently. Um, I used to do inspection work uh, for construction and would use it to see all the way up into the... Uh, roofs of buildings for the um, several different types of things and it's still kicking on the original set of batteries so can't really complain too much on battery life on that and the uh, holster works really well um, the only complaint about the holster is that uh, I guess there are well I know there are batons out there and I actually was in um, a fast food place picking up some lunch one day uh, and actually had a law enforcement officer ask me if I was carrying a baton legally and had to show him that it wasn't a baton. It was actually my Surefire 
uh, 6P flashlight. Um, but I guess it kind of looks very similar to a baton. Um, I don't know. I, he thought it was. But I quickly showed him that it wasn't. It was a flashlight and we were done. So on to my concealed carry. What I have here is a, uh, we'll do this first. Move this out of the way. And uh, just so you guys can see, no round in the chamber, no magazine, yada yada, all you safety guys out there. Uh, personally, if I shot myself on a video, I don't think I'd post it, but Glock 26 Gen 4, really dig it. Really, really like it. I've got about 500 rounds through this. Um, I love it. I'm, I'm really accurate with it. Um, I'm going to tell you, I really wasn't a Glock guy uh, at all. Uh, I actually also own a XD9 subcompact and really liked the XD originally and have carried the XD for several years. And the reason I went to the Glock was just one day, you know, I was just like, whatever, I'm going to go check out a Glock. And um, the XD is shorter. Uh, it is, the barrel is shorter. In fact, on the XD, right where these, they're not serrations, but where that cut starts, you actually lose about that much length off the XD subcompact, so it is shorter. They're about the same width, and you get a little more purchase on the grip with the XD. But for some weird reason, and I've shot both of them side by side several times, took my CWP class with the XD actually, and have gone, you know, put bullets on paper, and when I compare them side by side, I shoot better with the Glock. It's probably just me. Um, it may be, you know, that rear sight. I find it really easy to, to acquire my sight picture really quickly in my second, third, and fourth shots, my follow-up shots, are a lot quicker as well. Um, like I said, it's probably just me. Um, I'm sure everybody's different in that. But anyway, on to, on to that. Um, keys, well, we'll get to that in a second. I actually want to talk about the holster. These are Amora holsters. Um, they're great. They stick where you put them. You can put them at any angle. You can wear them. You can wear them in anything, with or without a belt, anywhere you want to put it. You can cant it at any, you know, position you want to. And when you put this pistol in, you know, it slides in and out and it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, that's just on the tabletop. And I am easily reholstering and holstering on the table. I mean, it's not even, it doesn't go anywhere. But, and that's just, you know, whatever. I like them. They're cheap. They're washable, hand wash, uh, let it air dry. You know, they just work. I don't like those. I find them to be bulky, those inside the waistband. I've got a couple of them. I'm sure I'm just like everybody else that has a whole drawer full of holsters that they bought thinking that they would use them or they would like them or they initially liked them. And then they actually put them on and uh, they suck. I mean, I have not found an inside the waistband holster other than the Remora. Um, now I do have a Mick holster that will go on to that when it comes in. I'm waiting on it. Hopefully it'll show up this week. I'm hoping. I have not found an inside the waistband holster guys that, uh, that's comfortable on me. Um, I'm a slim, slender kind of guy and when I put it on I don't print but there's definitely a bulge that you can see no matter where I put it. And I just find them awkward, whether I'm either sitting or standing. If I get it right standing, it doesn't feel good sitting. It's just, I just haven't found one. Um, at least not for me, until I found a Remora. And like I said, cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap as in money, not cheap as in quality. Because I use it every day, and it's awesome. In fact, I liked it so much. I live in South Carolina. It really gets hot here and humid. And then we bring in my summer carry my summer carry and we'll do this real quick just so everybody knows you know no round in the chamber no magazine okay and uh 
This is a Sig Sauer P238 Equinox Edition. Um, I really like this because it's light. It is 380, but I put Critical Defense Hornadays in it, and I feel fairly confident that it'll do the trick. It's better than nothing, and you can sit this puppy in your pocket, which is really cool. Got the Remora holster again. Now you can see, put this down for a second, the difference, of course, obviously is size, but this is cut out just a little more here, and it fits right in my pocket. Um, with shorts, with pants, not back pocket, front pocket. Um, probably could put it in the back pocket if you had deep back pockets, um, but I don't know how, not for me. Love it. Cheap. I mean, guys, I bought two of these Remora holsters. I don't make anything off them. The guy was super nice. I got them super quick. Um, all this stuff I bought, nobody gave me any of this. Um, so I just want to say that real quick. I'm not getting anything. I'm just doing this for kicks. Um, I want to have a video just like everybody else does. But you can put them in when I, put, when I, when I draw this weapon. It, uh... You know, it stays in my pocket, and it's really easy easy to reholster. You can get a reinforced top. I don't have the reinforced top. Um, personal preference. I actually talked to the guy. I think he's in Florida, if I remember correctly. You can get a piece. What well, they've got a piece of Kydex actually that fits. It's woven into this, and then it, when you pull your pistol out, it actually is a reinforced top. It stays open like that, which would assist in reholstering. Originally, I went to purchase that one. He sent me an email. He asked me what I was carrying, and I told him, and he actually said, where are you planning on carrying it? I told him either pocket carry or inside the waistband, and he actually recommended the one without the reinforced top. So I went on his recommendation, since he's the one that makes them, and it's a winner, guys, and I love it. And same thing, you know, that's just tabletop. Yeah. You know. You know, obviously it works a little better when it's inside your pants. Um, the cool thing is you don't have to cinch your belt with these things. Um, you know, a lot of holsters I've found out you got to have either a really good belt, which there's lots of reviews on. Um, I'm actually looking at the Ranger belt made by Aries, but they're a little pricey and they take a really long time to get. But with these more holsters, I've found that you really don't have to have, in fact, you don't have to have a belt on at all. Unless you like wear really loose pants, but I won't go into that. But uh, that's basically it, guys. And um, thanks for watching.